Vedans and I wrote the JE advanced exam on the 18th of May and I had the following observations to share about my exam. I found paper 1 to be on the easier side with chemistry being especially easy. Physics was conceptual but could still be solved if your concepts are strong enough and maths was also on the easier side. Maths was a balanced paper with uh, questions being asked sl slightly more from vectors and functions but other than that it was more or less balanced. Physics had a higher weightage especially of units and dimensions and errors in measurements with unique questions being asked, different questions I should say and with three questions being asked. SHM also was asked. Another surprising thing was that they didn't ask frequently asked topics such as rotational dynamics neither in paper 1 nor in paper 2. So that was surprising. Chemistry had a balance between physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry but I found organic chemistry to be slightly more conceptual amongst the three. Coming to paper 2 much harder than paper 1. Not just because of the questions themselves but also because of the marking scheme. More than half of the marks in the paper, 96 out of 180, was for decimal type questions and the calculations were often lengthy. In math there was a higher weightage for topics such as coordinate geometry conic sections in particular which made the paper even more lengthy. Coming to physics, physics was again a very nice very conceptual paper which could be solved if your concepts were strong but it was very well designed paper on the whole I should say. Electrostatics and thermodynamics had a slightly higher share and uh, SHM was asked again. Again rotational dynamics was ignored but on the whole it was a good paper. Chemistry the multiple choice and multiple select type questions were easy. They were mostly consisting of uh, inorganic and uh, organic chemistry with inorganic uh, chemistry having a lower weightage. It is to be noted inorganic chemistry was easier in both the papers. Organic chemistry was not difficult but it was moderate in paper two, with questions being asked mostly from reduction and oxidation and uh, sequential reactions. Physical chemistry was had a very high weightage in paper too. Uh, very conceptual questions, uh, slight difficult questions and they comprise them with numerical type questions. So that made the paper slightly more challenging to score higher number of marks in. So overall my analysis would be in chemistry it was easier to score marks in inorganic chemistry followed by organic chemistry if your fundamentals are strong. In physics, if your fundamentals overall as a whole in mechanics and electromagnetism were good, then you could score high marks as well as units and dimensions. And in math, the beginning portion of calculus was asked more compared to integral calculus. Although in paper 2 there were some mixed topic questions. And coordinate geometry especially required more attention is my opinion.